Very convenient. Oh, Curie, you're back. And... Uh... Curie, did you see who just fell off? <laughs> Didn't mean for them to fall off. I hope they're okay. I heard that Elder Maxon got that skull on his face. I wonder if this is the same world space as, um, as the airport and everything else, because then you could just fall down and walk around. Should I talk to Max first? Yeah, why not? I received word that Dr. Lee is returning to us. How cooperative do you think she'll be? Oh, who knows? Um, will she be harmed? I don't think she... I think she's confused. I don't think she's going to be helpful. I've been missed for the Institute is the enemy, not the brother. Will she be? Absolutely oh. not. Oops, we have sorry. big plans for Dr. Lee, including the resurrection of one of her greatest creations. The last thing we'd want to do is kill the Golden Goose. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives, we'll interrogate her aboard the Pridwin. She's been under the Institute's influence for the last decade, and we can't afford to take any chances. Now, I believe you still possess an important piece of data that Proctor Ingram is eagerly awaiting. Oh, I do I want indeed. you to bring it to her immediately. Once again, Knight. You don't fail to impress. Dismissed. Glad to hell. Alright, outside. Now all the musical cues have calmed down. So she is probably still down... Uh, down there. I'm really tempted to just... See if I can jump down and then use my my jetpack. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna quick save right here. And I'm gonna try to jetpack down. Dog meat, you first. You first, dog meat. Dog meat, I don't know how you're doing that. <laughs> but here we go. Oh <laughs> So I bet that it's not the same world space, like they've just given a version of the airport that's like really simplified so they don't have to render a whole bunch of stuff and they can save some processing power or whatever. Because the way that my jetpack just did nothing. And I've fallen before and it's kind of caught me, so... Where is Ingram? She must be still standing right down there. Ingram! Here's your holotape, Proctor. Hope the data on that thing was worth it. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the Interceptor would do to you. Uh, it just dematerialized me a little bit. It's fine. It put me back together. A couple things are in the wrong spot, but... Nothing important. You mean being zapped into energy and then put back together again? Piece of cake. You can make jokes all you want, but I wouldn't put so much faith in technology I didn't understand. Speaking of technology I don't understand, I'll get this holotape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. Why didn't I just deliver it to him then? For all we know, that thing could be a recipe for death claw surprise. <laughs> well, it's the best we could do with such short notice. Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan scribes can get off of it. I'm it sure the Institute has me. all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's going to take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, I've got a new assignment for oh, Of you. course you do. So, I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about it? Has he told me? I don't think he told me anything. So, yeah, he he seems to feel it's pretty important. That's pretty much all he's told me. He seems to feel it's pretty important. Important is an understatement. We're pouring every resource we have into this thing. I hope it's worth it. Come on, it's this way. Well, we're There's just going to go see it. That, and I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry all the time. A gantry? Jackson and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. 
Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project comes in. This Dr. Lee's thing? Maybe I should have been a medic. Hmm. Oh, there Maybe you are, Clover! This storage bay full of parts is what's left Liberty of Prime. Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Fortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know anything about robot repair. My help? I don't know a thing about robot repair. Why don't we leave the repairing to my scribes? You're going to be doing the legwork. You want me to now, go get parts? The good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. Fetch quest. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. And the first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I assume you can fix it? I assume you can fix that? I wish it was that simple. If this happened to one of the robots on the Pridwin, I'd just swap out its fusion pile. As much as I hate to admit it, Prime's power systems are out of my league. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. So I gotta speak to Lee. But I also need to go visit somebody. So before we go see Lee, wherever she is, where is she? Do I have that one activated? Oh no, I do not. But I have that one activated. So let's go to our old pal's cave. Jesus, look at this place. Oh no. <laughs> Weather is crazy out there. So I, I don't think I've ever done this um, quest line. Also, Curie, I think you're pretty great too. She's gonna try to talk to me. She's gonna be like, "I think we should talk." I'll be like, "I'm busy." Well, I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> it did, but I pulled myself together. <laughs> I suppose you did. Now, what about the serum? Did you find it? Um, yeah, but you, do you think it's really gonna help? Like, is it gonna put everything back where it should be? And like, is your skin gonna go back to normal? And you know, you figure it out. Got it right here. That's it. That's really it. All right. Let's see. Let's Paladin see. dance. Don't be Virtual a big old bitch. This has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. Uh. Has the uh, reverse transcriptase survived the nucleotide synthesis? Excellent question. Yes. Yes, it has. Fascinating. No. Oh. Did you mean that as a joke? Well, it's time. There's only one way to test it. You have to get on the table to do it? You know, if he turns All back, right. he's not gonna be he's not gonna be protected against the weather out here. Uh, Curie, please! No. We wait. That's it? What? Did you expect me to transform right before your eyes? This is science, not a two-cap magic show. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days. 
and you weakened. Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. A moment, please. All right, Curie, I'm ready now. Sure, I enjoy talking with you. As do I. I owe you so very much, and I do not mean to sound ungrateful, but I fear I am barely holding myself together. Oh, why is this? Um, are you all right? I just don't know. Becoming a synth is so much harder than I ever imagined. At first it was a struggle just to master basic functioning. How to brush the teeth, how to operate with only two hands, etc. But now I am full of inconsequential thoughts. Feelings. How do you do everything with this whirlwind in the head? Oh, we can't flirt with her. We're too gay for that. Even if she is very pretty and nice. Uh, I just deal with it. It's part of being human. I prioritize and tackle what's most important at the time. But please, Virgil. Get out of this radiation now. I just deal with it. It's part of being human. You have had your whole life to adjust. For me, it comes at me all at once. You make it look so effortless. Like breathing. Please, but for me, it is so hard to uh, focus. What is to happening? Do research. And the inspiration is as elusive as ever. I fear I will never contribute anything to the world. I feel like I'm going to get out of this conversation and I'm going to be dead from radiation exposure. Uh, hey, science isn't the only way you can help the Commonwealth. Perhaps you're right. And together, we have done much good. The saving grace in all of this is you. As a robot, I had much appreciation for you. But now, it is deeper. I am still loyal. But now I do this because I want to. Because you are... my friend. Uh... You're my friend too. Actually, what do you think a friend is? No, she understands. You're my friend too, Kiri. This tells something in me. I have no idea why. I must cut this short. My eyes, they are malfunctioning. Adieu. I'm going to get some rest. Oh yeah, look at that. I've already got like half rats. Let's take a couple of those. Nance, did you want to talk? You were getting all frumpy earlier. Actually, let's go somewhere safe before we do this. We'll fast travel back to the third one. We're taking too many rads. We need to move out. You know, I I really do enjoy the uh, the whole like a robot becomes human story. Like, every time it just gets me. So I like Curie. But uh, let's see next. We need to talk to Dr. Lee. Dance, did you want hey, to talk? Ready. Paladin. Do you want to have that talk now? Oh, sure. Of course. What's on your mind? Thank you. This isn't a formal meeting. I simply want to clear the air. I think we may have gotten off on the wrong foot when we first met, and I feel like I owe you an apology. Expecting you to embrace the standards of the Brotherhood without having a history with us was unfair. And given that you've adjusted so well to our beliefs, I don't think I needed to push so hard. You were in quits? Um, I'm betting it hurt to say that. So there's a human being under there. You know, just... Well, that is a little bit sarcastic like you would be. So there is a human being under all that power armor after all. Sometimes I need a reminder, but yes, there is. When I was an initiate, my sponsor was Paladin Krieg toughest squad leader I ever served with. He was a model soldier, embodying the values every trainee was striving to achieve. Fiercely loyal, secure in his beliefs, and brave to a fault. From the moment I was assigned to his squad, I was singled out. It felt like he was pushing me harder than the rest of the team. I fought by his side for years, and we had some seriously close calls. But he never explained to me why I was treated that way. Hmm. Maybe he was secretly your father. Uh, did you ever ask? Sure, he had his reasons. Um, sounds like he's trying to motivate you. Did you ever just talk to him? Did you ever ask Probably him? Probably no. I'd considered it, but unfortunately, 
I never had the chance. After I was promoted to Paladin, and I had moved on to my own squad, I received word that Krieg was killed at Adams Air Force Base. The news was like being kicked in the stomach. I mean, I'd lost some of my brothers and sisters before, but his death... Well, it really got to me. It's taken me a long time to realize it. But the reason Krieg was so tough on me is the same reason I'm so tough on you. It's because I believe in you. And I don't want to see any of your potential go to waste. Well, it's what happened. I don't know what to say. It took long enough to notice. <laughs> notice me, senpai. Flattered you have some faith in me. I'm gonna find out more about his story. What happened at Adams Air Force Base? Back in the capital wasteland, the Brotherhood was at war with a traitorous group of rebels who called themselves the Enclave. Ooh, the Enclave. They maintained a mobile command post at the remains of Adams Air Force Base, just outside of Washington, D.C. The Brotherhood spearheaded an assault on the command post, which was ultimately successful, but costly. Quite a few soldiers died in that battle, and Paladin Creed was among them. He made his mark on history. And whether you choose to believe it or not, you have the potential to do the same. Well, I'm flattered. I'm flattered that you have so much faith in me. You've earned that faith by your own hand. Well, I've said what I had to say, and I hope that it meant something to you. I trust you'll keep this in confidence, of course. Some of that information was of a personal nature. And, well, I'd like to keep it that way. Oh, that's fine. As long as whenever I get your your uh, affection points up high enough, you'll give me that flirt chance. Dancey boy, dance! Look at him, he's very handsome. I mean, I have no idea what he looks like under that armor, because he never takes it off! You just sleep in that? Come on. What's his hair look like, I wonder? Oh my god. <laughs> Push him off. <laughs> uh, Alright, what are we doing? <laughs> We gotta go talk to uh, Dr. Lee. Liberating the Commonwealth is a huge. Attention, all Addison. personnel. This is to serve as a reminder Scribe Naraya's mole rat subjects are not pets. They are crucial military resources. Can you believe synths are replacing Dog humans? Me. As with such, they are not to be fed by any personnel save Scribe Naraya and her team. Okay. Any violation of this policy will result in severe discipline. Alright, I get it. Thank you. If you're here to talk me into working on Liberty Prime, you can forget it. Oh, that's exactly why I'm here. One of us is a liar, and isn't it me? <laughs> One of us is a liar, and it isn't me. Oh, don't try and pin that nonsense on me. I said I'd come back to the Brotherhood, and I have. But you neglected to mention that I'd be asked to work on Liberty Prime. I've been down this road with the Brotherhood before. Why would I make the same mistake twice? Uh, why don't you help us? Not for the Brotherhood, do it for Virgil, who's dead. He's your friend and he's dead. Don't work on Prime, I'll have you shot. Uh, well, just, why not? Why won't you help us with Liberty Prime? I originally left the Brotherhood because I was tired of being stepped on and used. First, there was the water purification project designed to freely benefit the entire Capital Wasteland. Even though the Brotherhood allowed it to be activated, they wanted to control it. But that wasn't enough. They forced me to help design Liberty Prime. Turned my work into a weapon of war. I had enough, so I left. It's as simple as that. Well, do it for you, buddy. If not for the Brotherhood, do it for Dr. Virgil. What they did to Dr. Virgil was cruel. It was wrong. How could I be so blind? You Dance. really know how to push my buttons, don't you? Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online, but we'll get it done. What does Dance have against Virgil? But... Okay, he hates that I brought up Virgil. But he loves that I got it to happen in the end. So, you know, whatever. Dance... I prefer laser weapons myself. It's hot, it's cold. Ah, just, just take off your armor. Show me what you look like naked. Come on. Who are we talking to now? Ingram? 
Can I steal anything? Nah, I already stole it. Super mutants were human once. How could science have gone so wrong? <laughs> Voice. How could science have gone so wrong? Oh, look at this view. It's very nice. Very, ooh. Downtown's very colorful in a very weird way. Sorry, just taking a, a brief moment to look around at all this mess. Charging into a situation, guns blazing. It's a good way to get yourself killed. All right, thank you. Thank you for that bit of advice. I'll remember it next time I'm charging into battle with my guns that Have I you ever have. fired a minigun. Oh God, stop talking to me. Ingram. Proctor Ingram. Things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Oh. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Hmm, charming, isn't she? Yeah. Did we make a mistake? Uh, I, I can come back later. Maybe I should come back later. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We might not be the best of friends, but we'll get the job done. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're going to have you start building his electromagnetic actuators. The way she said Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation sounds kind of lesbian. <laughs> uh, you're acting like I know what those are. You're acting like I know what those are. Oh, I know you haven't the faintest idea what I'm talking about. I just like watching you squirm. The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in his limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck. Well, I guess we gotta go take apart a uh, cat scan machine. Where would this be? I, I, uh, locate a high-powered magnet? I guess I should try looking on my compass. Uh, probably there, right? So let's see. There it is, Medford Memorial. Uh-oh. Super Mutants. Dance! What's happening with that car? How do you turn around like that? Oh, there's a suicider. <laughs> it's gonna keep zipping around. Oh god, I thought that was... Oh, Curie, he'll dog me. Oh, Curie. Here is Netford Memorial. And I'm gonna stop right here. So next time we'll go in and find the CAT scan machine and get the high park magnet. And hello, you're you're great. I like you. You're such a good companion. <laughs> Feel bad for looking at her butt. That's it. Alright, I'm going. Goodbye, everybody.
Say bye, Curie.